So today we're looking at the fourth battle, uh, Battle of Lamia. A brief history, what is happening here? This is a follow-on uh, uh, episode on the Thermopylae. So we had the Thermopylae, Battle of Thermopylae, where the Antipatros was defeated, and then he retreated to the nearby city of Lamia, and he's uh, licking his wounds there. In the meantime, he's awaiting reinforcements, and now they have arrived. It's uh, spring 322 BC, so we have uh, Macedonians arriving, we have Alexander's uh, personal bodyguard in charge, Leonatus. He's also been recently appointed satrap of Hellespont Phrygia. Phrygia. So he's arriving in the hope of also marrying, uh, marrying Alexander's sister, Cleopatra, who's been now um, widowed for eight years. So he arrives, he recruits some more men uh, as he comes along in Macedonia itself, and he descends towards Lamia. So what happens here on the Greek side we have some changes there as well. Antipatros is still besieged but when they hear of Leonatus approach they break the siege and they have a change of leadership there as well the Greeks. It seems that we are fighting as Greeks here today. Okay so what happens the, uh, here? Leasthen Leasthenes, one of the leaders of the Greeks uh, who had brought many, many a man to the field he was killed, so many of the men left the Greek side. However, they still have quite a solid following here, and then they have a new leader, Antiphilus. Antiphilus decides now to break the siege because he does not want to be uh, be uh, pinned between the two Macedonian forces. Lamia on one side with Antipatros and his garrison, and uh, Leonatus approaching with this freshly recruited army and the army of from Asia on the other side. So they decide to break the siege and face Leonatus in the plains just above Lamia itself. So what happens here, however, uh, Leonatus manages to get himself isolated from the rest of his Macedonian army and uh, Thessal Thessalian cavalry here on the Greek side, they kill him. So now the Macedonian phalanx would uh, end up on the top of the hill awaiting for the Antipatros uh, uh, arrival on the following day. So we're going to play here it seems as the Greeks. So here are the Greeks, we are led by Antiphilos, we have some uh, mercenary hoplites, we have solid classical hoplites, some levy hoplites, we have advantage in cavalry though. They have only one Asian uh, Cappadocian horseman here, uh, Anatolian ho horseman and one other light unit of horsemen as well and, um, and um, uh, general. We have Four units. Okay, so let's let's just jump into it and see what can be done here. Right. So here, oh here they are. Okay. Let's 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 overwhelm their flank, I suppose. All right. What's happening on this side? So yes, we are playing as the Greeks, and the Macedonians now. All right. What is happening here? I'm not sure. Okay, we got bogged down. No, we don't want that. We'll move that cavalry unit away. Okay, so we dealt with our cavalry, it seems. Okay, let's bring this man here. This unit. Okay, let's actually... Let's enable fire at will. For now. Okay, what is happening here? Okay, let's... Let's try and see if we can defeat this unit of enemy cavalry. In the meantime, our cavalry is now free to do what they please on this flank here it seems uh, all right I'm going to disable this I'm going to bring this unit here because we're struggling here a little bit I'm going to disable this as well and send that unit towards that wing there all right what's happening here okay let's charge this unit here if we can so we should be okay, we should be okay. We have advantage, massive advantage in cavalry. Therefore, I hope we'll be just fine. Let's isolate this unit, let's kill them. Hopli uh, die haploi, these are levy hoplites, they shouldn't be much of a problem. Right, we're all engaged everywhere it seems. And we routed Macedonian commander, which is good, so we're going to proceed. Oh, we in fact, no, he did not rout, he just retreated. Okay, we need to pursue him. What routed is this unit here of the light cavalry. Okay. 
we're going to start out flanking maneuvers here what is happening okay so we're done here as well we managed to route and we're struggling a little bit now a little bit struggling on this flank though so I'm going to try and move my forces that way okay let's see are we dealing with uh, their general here it seems so okay we're doing fine we're doing okay on that flank we're doing fine everywhere okay let's bring our general here let's disable disable fire at will and let's bring the general around this side to start in uh, you know maneuvers there where is where's is our cavalry okay let's bring the cavalry out this salient yes let's bring them away from there we do not want them to suffer there that much okay this is our uh, peltists we're going to try and hopefully yeah let's move all of this cavalry away here let's bring this unit this way and peltists let's try and engage this unit here okay so we're fine this flank is great now here I'm going to attack them in the rear I'm gonna bring my general here this unit is still idle ah this is their phalanx okay they are how are they positioned are they yeah I'm just trying to see no they've been penetrated they do not hold their cerises at all it seems they're fighting in the close quarters where their cerises are pretty much useless and here they are outing now okay yeah there was a uh, there's some issues there some issues with the phalanx uh, with Cerisa pikemen I don't think they can hold their pikes and their distance they seem to get penetrated quite easily okay now we have some units here available on this side now so we're going to see if we can actually bring them to bear upon who is this oh these are the enemies okay how did they man manage to end up there I, I must have overlooked them. We need to urgently bring some reinforcements in. Okay, that should do it. Okay, this phalanx is now uh, routing. And this one will be also routing very shortly, I believe. Essentially, we have repulsed them. We don't even do much with our cavalry here. I'm going to probably send them that way. And let's see what else can we do. Okay, let's just chase these guys up and yes this is all fine it seems to me all right yes okay let's see so these are routers okay so this unit here is fighting to the death it would seem to me okay okay and who do we have here where is this unit of cavalry oh wow we left them out there somewhere Okay, so they have rallied. There is a unit of uh, Macedonian, oh sorry, Greek uh, mercenary. I think these are mercenary hoplites. So they have rallied. Our battle line here otherwise is doing pretty good. We are doing good. This unit is, seems to be fighting to the death. We need to bring maybe some reinforcement. There you go. And yes, we are. We have them. Yes, totally isolated. Okay, that's fine. Right, where is? Oh, there you go. Okay, so here we are. We had slightly superior force. We have managed to defeat them. Fourteen percent. We only lost. This is pretty good. Okay, so that's done. Thanks a lot for watching. So we achieved a Greek victory here, Battle of Lamia, beaten uh, Leonatus and his reinforcements back.